Fine woodworking requires more than just skill, and nobody knows this better than the founder of Vermont Rolling Pins. Ken Freeman works to bring out the characteristics in each piece of wood by highlighting the color and grain, thus preserving the natural beauty of it. It is this craftsmanship that separates these rolling pins from the machine-made ones on the market. Every rolling pin is hand-turned by Ken and then goes through an extensive sanding process, leaving it with a silky smooth finish. There are three tools that are used for virtually all the pins that we make. One's a parting tool, one is a skew, and the third is a gouge. These pins, uh, they take a considerable amount of time and patience is the key. It's a matter of sanding, sanding, sanding. We use, uh, start with 60 grit, work our way up to 220, and then we, uh, we wet the pin, let it dry, sand it one more time, and then I burnish in uh, a beeswax mineral oil, and that's what uh, gives the pin its uh, sheen. He works with the finest hardwoods, including cherry, maple, and walnut, and offers a variety of styles to appeal to the chef in your house. The shaker rolling pin will remind you of the one your grandmother had, while the modern presents a bold, sleek feel. The French rolling pin won us all over here at the Grommet, with its unique tapered ends and elegant appearance. These solid wood treasures are easy to care for. Simply wipe them down with a damp cloth after use, and at least once a month apply bee or mineral oil to accentuate the grain patterns in the wood. Vermont rolling pins make the perfect housewarming gift or wedding present. However, our testers recommend buying one for your kitchen as well.